Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Ryan here. It's another Friday, another tutorial. Uh, today, we're talking about preparing those Illustrator assets so you can animate them inside of After Effects. So let's uh, keep the intro short and jump right in. All right, cool. So what I'm going to start with is I received this PDF from a client and uh, it's just a big PDF with a bunch of icons, a bunch of stuff that they want to uh, animate. So let's just go ahead and look at that real fast. And so we have all this stuff we want it all to, you know, kind of pop on, transition on, have a cool little style. We want to animate them on separately. So let's go ahead and um, I'll just show you a quick way of how I like to prepare documents like this to uh, be able to animate inside of After Effects. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this with Illustrator. All right, cool. So here we are inside of Illustrator, uh, inside of our PDF document, and uh, it turns out that everything is already separated out and uh, you know all we need to do is start to organize it so After Effects can recognize it. So the first thing you have to look at is everything is underneath this subgroup of layer one. And so After Effects is only gonna recognize those individual layers if you wanna animate them separately if they're on their own layer. So let's go ahead and I'll show you kind of a couple ways that I like to do it um, just to organize and also think ahead of time of how I want everything to animate and um, how I'm going to organize that inside of After Effects. The more stuff you want to animate inside of After Effects, the more stuff needs to be on its individual layers. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with this green box. I'm going to select this and uh, make sure nothing else is selected around it. And what you'll notice in the layers is everything is, you know, in different spots. Let's say this path was way down here or something, you know, we wanna make sure we get them all together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit G to group it. And now we have everything in this green box in its own group. Uh, but like we talked about earlier, After Effects needs to see it in its own layer. So what I'm gonna do is just add a new layer. I'm gonna take our group, we'll move it up to layer two. And now it's separated from the rest of the PDF document and it's on its own layer. So we kind of have to continue this process for everything we want to break up, but let me show you another way that's a little bit faster. You can group things at once and then break them out into layers at once. So let's take these average sale price, average BPO, all these elements. We want, we want each of these boxes to animate on separately inside of After Effects. So what I'm going to do is just continue the same process. I'm going to grab these carefully one by one and group each object that I want to animate into its own group. So I'm just going to select those. I'll hit Control G. Go to this next group, control G, and I'm just gonna continue this process until I get all of these on their own group. All right, cool, so now these are all in their own uh, groups. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm selecting all these boxes in the middle just so I know where they are. And I'm just gonna control click to make sure I select all these new groups that we just made. And let's go ahead and with them all selected, I'm gonna drag them up to our new empty layer. And so now, you know, we have these all on their own layer. But again, to animate these, we want them to each be on their own individual layer. So uh, this might be a faster process for some of you. So uh, what we'll go ahead and do is select this layer and we'll drop down, we'll go release to layers, build. Cool, so now these are all on their own named individual layers, but the problem is they're still underneath layer three. So the easy way to do that is just to select all these, drag them all out. Now they're not nested anything and they're all on their own layer. So with this current process, all these layers you see right here are gonna be individual layers that we can animate on their own inside of After Effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this for the rest of this elements here. I'm gonna break them out, do the exact same process, give them their own layer. And when I'm done, I'll show you some of the problems you might run into trying to bring these into After Effects. So we'll be back when that's all done. All right, cool. So we're all done here. I uh, broke everything out onto its own layer. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure everything's turned on, saved it as an Illustrator file. And let's go ahead and jump into After Effects. All right, cool. So here we're in After Effects. Let me show you kind of a couple of things that you might do and uh, the problems you might run into and how to solve that. So. First thing I'll do, double click to uh, get our new Illustrator file in. And I'll just click Import. And we kind of get two options here, composition or footage. If I do footage, all we get is a single layer with nothing we can do with. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'll double click again. You know, I'll repeat the process, Import. And then you think, oh, well maybe the option is composition. Well, yes, this is true in a sense. So I'll open this up, it, the elements will come in individually since we add them to separate layers. 
And uh, might take just a little bit here because there's so many elements in this Illustrator file. Cool, so there we go. It brought in as a composition. We have all our layers. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, and there we go. And so if I solo this, we get individual layers that we can animate separately. But uh, here's the issue. If you wanted to do some sort of scaling from the center of the object, we'll use layer 157 as an example here. Um, when you bring it in as a composition, the anchor point isn't gonna be in the middle of the object. It's not recognizing the object. It's just putting it in the center of the composition. So every layer that we have is gonna scale from the center, but we want it to scale from the object. Well, there's one little option on importing that we don't get inside of After Effects, importing it this way. So let me do this one more time. I'm gonna delete this. Yep, delete all that, import. I'm gonna grab our Illustrator file, and right here we have the option of footage, composition, but what we want is retain layer sizes. So let's go ahead, select that, import it. Wait a second again here for everything to load up, because it's a little crazy. All right, cool, so everything is sort of looking the same already. We got everything um, in our individual layers, but you'll notice, you know, when I select the layer, we have our anchor point in the center of our layer exactly how we want to animate if we want this to pop on. So all of our layers are gonna be like this. Uh, anchor point's gonna be set in the middle. And uh, you know, another quick tool, if you don't want it to animate from the center, um, I, th I think I talked about this last week, but there's a great tool, it's called a Move Anchor Point. And uh, I have it set right here. And as you notice, you know, check out how these layers are. If, if I wanna move it from the left-hand corner, I can just quickly move the anchor points around with this uh, free script. So when it comes to doing like infographics and having to animate icons and stuff, this tool makes it really fast. It's free, there is a pro version that's super cheap. Um, check out that tutorial that I did and also check out this uh, free script. But uh, let's go ahead and just keep moving on real fast and just show you how quickly we can animate these on now that um, everything is set up as individual layers. So I didn't separate out the background, so let's go ahead and find that layer real fast. All right, so we got layer one here. I'm just gonna lock this layer. And let's jump ahead 30 frames. And I'm gonna select all these layers. I'm gonna hit S for scale. Let's go back half, so 10 plus five. And just so we can see, let's do a little bit of an overshoot here. You know, I'm gonna exaggerate it for uh, our purposes here. We'll go home, we'll set it to zero. And uh, you know, I might actually just grab all these. We'll hit F9 to ease, let's zoom in a little bit here. And instead of these being an easy ease, I might make them a uh, ease in. And let's just spread them out a little bit. And, you know, if we want, uh, there's a couple of other scripts that do this too, but let's just sort of randomize, you know, real fast, you know, kind of where everything is. So I'm gonna go ahead and randomize these real quick. All right, cool, so I just randomly jumbled those layers and offset them a little bit. So let's go ahead and ram preview this and see, you know, what it's looking like. All right, cool, so you know, you maybe wanna offset a little bit more, but um, you know, that's animating a lot of elements and scaling them off real fast, and uh, we did it in, you know, no time at all. So, so there we go, I hope that helps, you know, sort of speed up your workflow from uh, Illustrator into After Effects if you have tons of stuff you need to animate for those infographics or for anything else. So. Hope that helps. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, subscribe for tutorials every Friday. If you have questions, comments, let me know. Let me know how I can help. And uh, as usual, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a great Friday. We 3D tracked it and we have some Z space going on and it just uh, looks pretty cool. We're gonna have our beams follow it no matter where we reposition it.